Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book tag. Today we are doing one that I'm not sure fits for me. I've never been involved in any YouTube drama. When there was a little bit of drama in my own community, I just kind of stepped back away from it. I try to stay out of drama on this side of on this side of things. I've been known to cause uh, a lot of author drama in the horror community, but uh, that's beside the point. I'm going to be doing this mainly because A.G. McDonald cancel tagged me in uh, in his video, so that's why I'm doing it, and also because I actually have answers for each and every one of these, uh, which I didn't actually expect to have because of the title of the video. So again, thanks Mac for yeah, you just got nicknamed. Um, thanks Mac for uh, for tagging me. I don't know what your name A G. What do I call you? Ag? I'm not gonna call you Ag. You're Mac, and A G McDonald is too long, and I'm lazy. Let's jump into this. So the very first one is a blank screen because I forgot to unlock my shit. Um, the first one is your favorite smutty book. I don't read smutty books, um, but I do have one, uh, and that is the the woman, the girl in apartment six uh, E. It was a fantastic like female Dexter scenario with a cam girl. Um, it, it, I think that's what it was. There's a lot of sex, a lot of stuff um, going on, and she murdered people. It was it was great. Uh, the second one came along. I think it's called Do Not Disturb or something along those lines. It was absolute and utter fucking garbage. So toss that one out the window. But that first one is great. Um, the sex was arousing. The, <laughs> the, the, the writing was great. The plot was cool. It kept me interested. So yeah, that's my favorite smutty one. Uh, your favorite sibling duo. I job. Uh, um, the Glick Brothers. Uh, that's the first thing that comes to mind. I don't know why, but that is the very first thing that comes to mind. The Glick Brothers from Salem's Lot, I think, for obvious reasons. Um, there, as soon as I think of a, uh, uh, siblings, brothers, and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be, like, ship, I, I watched, I watched Mac's video. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, if he's annoyed by this, I'm, I'm, I'm be tickled because I will be canceled. So, uh, uh, so, I'm not sure if you're supposed to ship, like, you know, ship two, two people. I, I got a little confused on that one, but uh, my favorite sibling du duo would be the uh, the Glick brothers because, uh, you know, Salem's Lot, they're, they're the window tappers. So, the next one is an overhyped book. I ain't going to say it again, so I'm just going to put it right here. Y'all know what it is. In fact, I could probably do two. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Next, a character that makes, so number four is a character that makes questionable choices. I am going to go ahead and say there's just like almost all of Dean Koontz's characters. I can't think of one single character as much as I can think of Dean Koontz's characters. They always make the absolute worst decisions to move forward the plot. Um, instead of actually doing the, the logical thing, they go right, they race right past the logical conclusion and go straight into what the fuckery. Um, I, I don't under, I don't understand, well, I do understand it because it's a plot device. Um, he's trying to get people from point A to point Z, and then, and, you know, from B to Y, <laughs> that, you know, shit just has to happen. So, and he writes so much, he doesn't have time to get stuck on a plot point. So he just pushes the plot forward. So I'm going to say every single, especially now that I'm going through Dean Koontz's uh, entire catalog, I've noticed that his his characters make really, really stupid or or really stupid decisions or something convenient happens because they made a stupid decision that makes it looks like makes it look like a good decision. All right, uh, number five. If you could only keep one book, what would it be? I'm a, a, a y'all, y'all hold on, just, just one, just one minute, y'all. Yeah, hey, y'all just hang out just for one second, okay? Because I didn't prepare for this. I didn't prepare for this at all. But if I could keep one, I, if I could keep one book, this is what I'm keeping. Yeah, I pet it at least every time I come out into Wayne again. Thank you, man. I, I can't thank you enough. If I could, if I could keep one book, it would be this copy of Stephen King's It. The uh, first edition, UK cover, in all of its sexy orangeness. Yeah. So, we're going to jump right back into the next one. Alright, uh, number five. Two books with similar titles. I 
can't think of a single one! And at number seven, the last one on the list is a full cast audiobook you love. It's not real. I, I don't consider this a, a, well, I mean, I guess it is an audiobook because it's an audio experience based on a book, but it's also an uh, audible drama. Um, where they just take a full, they don't actually put a narrative in there, it's, uh, just, it's just like the old radio dramas from back in the day. Those things are amazing, by the way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's chat about them down there in the doobly-doo. There is dust and everything everywhere. I need to dust this place. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I should just let it settle. Anyways, but, uh, it's, it's the alien, um, uh, the, I can't remember what it's called. I'm so sorry, but I'll put it right here. It was fantastic. It was great. Rudger Howard's in it. Yeah, you know, The Hitcher. Yeah, and, and Blade Runner and all that stuff. Rudger Howard is... It, Howard? Howard. Not Howard. Not Howard. <laughs> this is Rudger Howard. Terrific actor. Love him and everything that he does. Hobo with a shotgun is fantastic. Anyways, go check this out. The Alien uh, Audio Audible Drama. But, yeah, that's everything. If you want to answer these in either your own video... Go ahead. I don't know who to tag here, um, because it is a booktube drama thing, and I don't really, I, I don't get into too much drama, so I don't know anybody that gets into drama, and I don't even know that what, why that really tied in with these, uh, with these questions, even though, yes, I did watch Mac's video. Um, I guess there were certain instances where people got upset about certain things in these categories, whatever, I don't do that kind of thing, so... Um, but if you want to do it, leave your comments down there in the doobly-doo. If you want to make a video, please go ahead and do it. Uh, Ryan, JB, uh, Steph, a any of you guys, if you want to do it, I tag all your faces. Uh, in fact, I want to tag, I want, real quick here at the end, I'm going to do a video just for him. But I also want to tag uh, Garen over at Goblet of Fiction. If you are not following this guy, you really definitely need to because he is fucking hilarious. Go over there and check him out. I'll leave a link along with everybody else I mentioned down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book tag video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!